till the day I die. The world has changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost, for none now live who remember it. Hello, and in this video today I will be talking about a almost forgotten technology called the friction shifters. I think it's a good idea to make a video like this for those of you who are not aware of this uh, great thing that I personally love a lot and use on all the bicycles that I ride and I will show you and explain you what it is, what are the great things about it and what are the downsides so that you can make an informed decision choice. And so uh, we will begin and I will show all the different ways of mounting friction shifters and solutions for flat bars and for drop bars. So without uh, further introductory story let us begin this is a bicycle that badly needs a wash it's my commuter bicycle that is supposed to look as ugly and unattractive as possible but the nice thing about it are these two little thingies that are decades old and the thing about these shifters is when you mount shifters like this it's called a thumb shifter there are different ways I will explain it but this one is thumb shifter but the thing about this thumb shifter is that it can work in friction mode only. So that means when I'm moving the shift lever, there are no clicks. I can set it to work in index mode with clicks, but the, the fun part is making it work in friction mode. So when I move this, by how much I move the lever, the cable is released or tightened and then the rear derailleur in this case moves or if I move the other shift lever the front derailleur moves and I don't have set click positions but I can move it however I want before until I make a switch. Now we will move to another bicycle to show you how that works when shifting gears and to show you a few downsides. Here we have another way of uh, mounting the friction shifter but in this case it's I'll explain this later first I will show how it works so when I'm moving this and spinning the pedals I'm shifting gears I hope you can see the rear derailleur move it I will now do some quick shifts you can see how it moves and this makes it possible to when you set the the limit screws of your rear derailleur and the front one of course you will not be able to have the cable to have the chain drop off and everything in between is adjusted using your shifter and your fill and so it does allow you for very quick shifts for example I can just make a swoop and be on the smallest gear in no time which is great when you're racing and you reach the top of the hill and you need to go down very quickly anyway the 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 nice part is that any kind of fine tuning and adjustment is done on the go. So you move this and it shifts if, uh, with index shifters. If anything gets like your derailleur hanger gets bent in a crash, crash or uh, cables get a bit uh, dirty, stuck, something moves, you will have problems with gears not working properly until you fine tune it again. But with this you are doing the fine tuning on the road so no problems with that. If it gets uh, winter and your cables freeze uh, this hasn't got any any fine mechanics inside of it so you can just jerk it to make the the cable be released and break off the the icing if you don't have any WD-40 with you and so that's the good thing the bad thing is that you need to use your feel and uh, your ears to make sure that it's nicely tuned I will show it now in example here if I move the lever just a little bit you can hear it's trying to to change the gear but it's not quite there yet. So it's like a, a, a unadjusted index shifter. So you need to do that by your hand by moving the lever a bit further and now we're good. Y you, can easily, you can easily do this. You can get the hang of it and it's a lot uh, trickier now if you haven't used shifters like this. It looks a lot trickier than it is. The catches and caveats are that uh, if you have 
the old style uh, road bicycle gearing and uh, rear derailers especially that uh, move uh, very much for very small movements of cable like the old 10 speed systems of 105 Shimano Ultegra and similar for those uh, you will uh, be have problems to fine tune it by hand when you're riding and use friction shifters but for the new 11 speed and the new 10 speed stuff for road and mountain bikes and for any up to 8 speeds even 9 it will work perfectly fine you will have no problems and it's great we will now move the camera to this cassette to show you another great thing from this angle I think it will be best presented what we have here this is a 7 speed cassette uh, but before I mounted the 7 speed cassette I put a large uh, large uh, sprocket from an 8 or a 9 speed cassette I don't remember even put an 8 speed uh, spacer in between and then slid a 7 speed cassette and uh, uh, right now I still haven't gotten to it but I plan to get uh, this is 30, 34 teeth I will get a 36 one because I hardly ever need this largest but when I need it I really need it so I can just swap 7 speed cassettes as they get worn when I'm replacing chains and cassettes and so on but I can keep the largest one that I like and I can do all sorts of mix matching and uh, that would be very difficult next to impossible to tune using index shifters but this allows me to ride very cheap chains very cheap cassettes to have them very durable and so on and that, those are the beauties and the great things about uh, friction shifters and now I will uh, show you what kinds of friction shifter types and mounts exist and uh, talk a bit more about uh, some of their downsides let us move to the this one this is an old bicycle and here we have uh, shifters that are mounted on the down tube these are called down tube shifters uh, these down tube shifters can work in friction mode and they are set to work that way here and the beautiful thing about down tube shifters is they are very simple very light this is the lightest setup for the weight win is the lightest setup that exists even today it's better than the most expensive durace SRAM whatever because here you have a shifter very simple mechanism light small and the cable and no housing it's very short route direct to the rear and to the front derailleur and so this gives you a very very nice uh, mechanics and in case you fall these shifters are protected from any impacts and uh, are the, in my experience the most durable and I love these for the uh, steel frames that have these nice normal round tubes there are ways to mount down tube shifters like this and you just remove this bolt and put it on and tighten it you can adjust height and in uh, the the biggest disadvantage of down tube shifters is that you need to get your hand off the bars to shift some people have a lot of problems with that I don't but I think it's fair to note and that is an objective downside of down tube shifters uh, another alternative is shown on this bicycle so for flat bars we have those thumb shifters and you don't have to worry anything and you can buy those second hand but for the the draw bars there is an option of having these these are called bar end shifters sometimes you can buy the the new fancy ones that are designed for those aero bars to, that stick to the front and then have shifters mounted but the the cool ones are those that work in friction mode at least in my opinion and when we're talking about friction shifters so they are mounted inside the the, the hollow a handlebar tube and then there's a way to tighten them and then you uh, guide the cable they have uh, an, an entry and exit here and when you move them they pull and release the cable that's the whole mechanism and there are ways to route the cable like this some people find this not aesthetically pleasing and an alter alternative way is to route the cable along the downside and then get it all the way and out here like this brake cable is done in parallel like you do with most modern uh, STIs the those expensive complicated that cannot be repaired combined shifter and brake levers you can do that but if you do that at least for the rear you will need to get a longer shifter cable for most frames 
that sold as a shifter cable for tandem bicycles or for touring bicycles. And this one is 3 meters long, it costs about $10 here in Serbia. And uh, so it's a more expensive and that's why I opted for the, the thing that I can easily and cheaply replace. I don't mind this, but if you prefer the other way you can go with this. It's uh, 3 meters, that's for the Americans, that's uh, 3 steps and, and a bit more. A bit over 3 yards, so I don't know in feet how much it is, but it's long enough for, for most bicycles, for, for most frames. Those are the, the bar end shifters. There is a company called, called Gevenale. I will try to put uh, myself in the corner of, uh, of the frame and put a, a picture with their uh, product in the corner i'm not selling it but and i haven't tried that first hand be, because it's impossible to order things from the united states to get to serbia i pay literally about double the the sale price and wait for months and have to do a lot of paperwork and it's it's not worth it but for those who can get that for the stated price they uh, buy cheap tectro levers that look a bit like this but have this part a bit more flat and then in, I think in Philadelphia the, the good people work they machine a square opening so that they can uh, disassemble a shifter like this a decent quality now they, the ones that you can buy in decent quality are made by Microshift I think they use those Shimano unfortunately stopped selling this because you sell this one and this is from 1974 or something like that you sell it once and then you never sell it again because it's indestructible so no one makes money on that anyway so they machine a, a mount for that and mount the the friction shifter here so that you have an easy way to to shift gears and also reach your lever so the ergonomics the biggest downside of down tube and even these shifters is solved and you have it here and you can use normal length shifter cables because you don't have to root all the way from here those are the extra 20 centimeters that make a huge difference and that uh, spoil the party, so to say. So the Gevenale shifters, I've heard nothing but praise for their durability, robustness, and they are basically allowing you to use any friction shifters on, uh, on your road bicycle and drop bars. And that looks like a very good idea. Again, I have not tested it personally, so take this with a grain of salt. This is the solution that I could source for the aluminum frames with thick tubes where I could not mount this in any way practical. Uh, I was considering to machine some sort of mount or similar, but I decided to, to not go with that. Also, if you are uh, doing some sort of, of hex, you might have problems on some frames with uh, lacking cable stops, but in a similar way like this, you can buy uh, a thingy with some cable stops for shifters, at least for some tube diameters, especially if they are symmetric around. So those are some things to, con to consider. And uh, that's, I think that's all I have uh, to say about the, the friction shifters. Uh, I hope this video helps you and explains something. If you have any questions or comments, especially if you have some corrections in case I did say something wrong or missed to mention something, please use the comment section below or even better, use the Bygramming forum on bygramming.net because that makes it easy to later search for uh, questions and comments and uh, to have that information uh, saved for anyone who has the same problem or question. It's a lot better than YouTube, in my opinion at least. I also wish to thank a lot uh, the good people who are supporting my work uh, via Patreon. Uh, if you like what I'm doing and want to help me stay uh, independent. I don't have any uh, limiting sponsoring deals. I can say whatever I think about any product and make videos whichever way I think they should be made and that's what I intend to, to keep it like that. You can go to patreon.com slash buy gremlin and uh, set aside the amount of money that uh, works for you, that's okay for you. Uh, it's, uh, I appreciate it and it means a lot and that's it. That's the whole video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope I didn't make it too long and I'll see you in some other video. Stay cool. Cheers.